Remember, a Hallmark card when you bury best. Tonight, from Hollywood, the makers of Hallmark greeting cards bring you McDonald Carey in Owen Wister's The Virginian on the Hallmark Playhouse. Each week, Hallmark will bring you Hollywood's greatest stars in outstanding stories chosen by one of the world's best-known authors, the distinguished novelist, Mr. James Hilton. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is James Hilton. Tonight on our Hallmark Playhouse, we present a classic story of the Old West, Owen Wister's The Virginian. In 1875, when this story took place around Cheyenne, Wyoming, it was wild and populated by cowpunchers whose lives were full of primitive joys and dangers. Today, if you visited there, you'd see their descendants, sons of the horseman, the cowpuncher, who was one of the great romantic figures of our American past. For he was romantic. Whatever he did, he did with all his might. The bread he earned was earned hard. The wages he squandered were squandered hard. Well, to this American hero, we dedicate tonight's play. And for our starring role, Jeff, the Virginian, we are fortunate to have MacDonald Carey. But before we begin, here is Frank Goss, who has a few words about Hallmark. Thank you, Mr. Hilton. There are Hallmark cards for every memorable occasion on your calendar. For birthdays, anniversaries, holidays. Yes, for every occasion that calls for remembrance, for a friendly greeting, a word of good cheer, an expression of sympathy. There is a Hallmark card that says just what you want to say, the way you want to say it. And that identifying Hallmark on the back, well, that says you cared enough to send the very best. Now, Hallmark Playhouse, presenting Owen Wister's The Virginian, starring MacDonald Carey. <laughs> had swollen the creek leading into Cheyenne, and the stagecoach with Molly Wood, the new school mom from Vermont, as its only passenger, was marooned in the water and slowly sinking. From the shore, tall and loose in the saddle, Jeff the Virginian rode wildly into the water. Don't worry, Jim. I'll get your passenger. No, Jeff. Keep out, Jeff. She's been complaining ever since she came aboard. Get my arms. Oh, why did I ever come here? This place is too much. This is no time for talk. Get my arms and we'll ride the shore. I'll not leave without my baggage. Come on up here. How dare you? Oh, 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 this is too much. I'm going home to Vermont right now. You better wait till at least we get ashore. Shh. You're laughing at me. I won't have it. You're no different than any of the rude cowboys I've met traveling here. Oh, this filthy... Ma'am, you'll get used to the place and the people, and before long, you might even get to love it. I hate it. I hate it. Anyone ever tell you, ma'am, that even when you cry, you're beautiful? I hate you. I hate you. Well, good evening, boys. Howdy, Jeff. <laughs> Ain't seen you so dude up in a long while. Looking for someone special here to dance? Could be, Steve. Anyone special here? You met the new school marm yet? Oh, where is she? Across the room. Right pretty, ain't she? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, think I'll go over and ask her for a dance. Maybe you'd like to know I've been seeing her every night since she arrived, Jeff. And what's more, she encouraged me. The only folks I'd say she encourages is the school kids. School kids? <laughs> You don't know nothing. There's always a man. And I ain't the only one. She leaves Baldy to sit on the fence Perhaps while I... you can rise up now and tell the boys you lie. Why, you... When you call me that, smile. Now stand on your two legs and say you're a liar and don't reach for your gun or I'll break your neck. Now, wait a minute, Jeff. I didn't mean nothing. Well, I'll call that sufficient. In admitting yourself to be a liar, you spoke God's truth for once. 
You can sit down now if you want, Travis. And Steve. Steve, I I don't like your running around with Trampus. He's low down and he ain't fit company for you. Well, you said you were number one to dance with the school, Marm. What you waiting for? Well, now, Steve, I tell you. What you waiting for? Very well. Will you try a turn, ma'am? I beg your pardon. If you'd like to dance, ma'am, will you? dance with me? You are from Virginia, I understand. Yes, ma'am. From Virginia. I've heard that Southerners have such good manners. That's correct. For in New England, you know, gentlemen ask to be presented to ladies before they ask them to dance. Afternoon, Miss Wood. I... I thought I'd call. Why, that's such a pity. Mr. and Mrs. Taylor are away. Yeah, they, they've been right busy. That's why I thought I'd call. Will you come for a ride, ma'am? Dear me. You can ride my horse. He's gentle. What? And you walk? No, no, ma'am. No, the two of us ride him this time, either. I'll catch up one of uh, Taylor's horses. I'd, I'd like for you to go ride mighty well. You got no babies this morning to be anxious after. I don't know what you mean, sir. I mean that it's Sunday. School don't hinder you from enjoying a ride today. You'll teach the kids all the better for it tomorrow, ma'am. Maybe it's your duty. My duty? Nah, I'm not a stranger now, ma'am. Remember, we were introduced, and I wouldn't be overstepping for the world. But I'll go away if you want. As you wish. Well, then I reckon I'll stay. You'll, uh, you go for a ride? You call yourself a man, I suppose. A grown-up, responsible man, just because you wear a, a big pistol and ride a big horse. Well, maybe there's been times when I acted like a man. Well, you didn't behave very gentlemanly last night. Well, I'll admit I certainly forgot to be introduced before I spoke to you last night, but I ask your pardon if I say what I have to, a right to say in language not as good as I'd like to talk to you with. At the creek, when you were in the coach that was sinking, who did any introducing? Did you complain I was a stranger then? Well, I... No. The driver told me it wasn't really so dangerous there, you well, know. That's not the point I'm making. You're a grown-up woman, a responsible woman. You come alone to a rough country to instruct children to play games, tag and hide-and-seek, and fooleries they'll have to quit when they grow old. Don't you think pretending you don't know a man, a man whom you was glad enough to let assist you when somebody was needed, don't you think that's mighty close to hide-and-seek the children play? I don't think I like you. Yeah, it's all square enough. You're going to love me before we get through. Dear, dear, dear. So I'm going to love you. And how will you do it? I know that men think they only need to sit and look strong. <laughs> You're wasting time. You know, it's the prettiest kind of a day. <laughs> I'll take back what I said to you. I believe I do like you. I know that if I went riding with you, I should not have an immature protector. And, um, uh, I have wanted to thank you for what you did at the creek. Well, shake. <laughs> You're a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to be a man. <laughs> well, I'm mighty glad you ain't. <laughs> well, don't be too sure. You're glad that I'm not a man. <laughs> I'll risk that. You coming? No. No! What are you doing to that brand tonight, Steve? Nothing, Jeff. Nothing. There's no use your hiding it. I know exactly what you've been up to. A lot of ranches are missing cattle. I don't know nothing about it. Let's see the brand man. No. Well, don't matter. Look, Steve, you and me's been budding about ever since you was a young boy. I kind of took it that if I had something to say to you, you had something to say to me, we'd kind of listen to each other. Stay out of my affairs, Jeff. That's the way you want it. But look, boy, rustling's no business for your kind. I wouldn't be listening to Trampus if I were you. The ranchers will wise up pretty soon who's doing it, and it can only end one way. I'll take my chances. 
I'm only interested in greener pastures. You're getting 50 a month now. That's just the point. I got no future here at Judge Henry's ranch. Easy money's no good. The money I made easy that I wasn't worth, it went like it came. But the money I made hard that I was worth, why, I began to feel right careful about that. And now I got savings stowed away. If once you could know how good it feels. I would know. With your luck. What's my luck? Well, if I'd took up land along a creek that never goes dry, improved upon it like you have, and if I'd saw that land raise its value on me, lifting no finger... Why did you lift no finger? Who stopped you taking up land? Didn't it stretch in front of you, behind you, all around you, the biggest, baldest opportunity in sight? Yeah, but never mind that. Take my land away tomorrow, and I'll still have my savings in the bank. It's no use, Jeff. You're wasting your time talking to me. Better get out of this territory, boy. Better find yourself new stamping grounds. I don't want to be on the posse that'll come to get you. Be seeing you around, Jeff. mighty close three times, Molly. You'd never turn your back on an argument. You'd have to see it through, wouldn't you? Yeah. The man chooses me, and there's a good reason. Back home in Vermont, men don't go around shooting each other. They consider it barbaric. I'm afraid I'll never grow used to your West. Give it time, and maybe we'll grow up, too. Molly. Yes? Molly, I love you. Will you marry me? Oh, well, I'm... I'm not the sort of wife you want. I'm the judge of that. I've been reading books, Molly, because I want to learn and be more your kind. But I don't want to change you. There's no reason why I should. In your class, you got the brightest boy and the dumbest. Who do you pay more attention to? Well, I don't know what you're trying to bring out, but... Well, I... I spend more time with the... dumbest. Well, let's... Let's just say I'm the worst student in your class. But with your help, I'm... I'm going to be your best. Will you marry me? Oh, don't. Don't, please. Don't what? Why spoil this? Spoil it? These rides. I don't love you. I, I, I can't. But these rides are... What are they? My greatest pleasure. And please, I, I want them to go on, so... Go on, so? I don't reckon you know what you're saying. You might as well ask fruit to stay green. The way we are now can keep being enough for you. It can't for me. You'll have to think of some other way than just inviting me to keep green. Well, sometimes I, I promise I will listen. That's the only promise I make. Well, well, Molly, that's a bargain. You made it pretty nearly impossible, but you have been square today. And I'll show you I can be square when I come back. I'll not do more than ask you if your mind's the same. You're leaving? Yeah, Judge Henry's asked me to join a posse to take two rustlers. So I'll not see you for quite a while. But I'll be very busy. And being busy always keeps me from grieving too much about you. Very well. I'll not miss you either. Goodbye, Molly. Goodbye, Jeff. Oh, uh, Molly. Yes? You know, I doubt if you can help missing me. We'll return to the second act of The Virginian, starring McDonald Carey. Would you like to send a personally imprinted Christmas card this Christmas so unusual your friends will show it to all who visit them during the holiday season? Then see the new Hallmark creations at the friendly store where you buy Hallmark cards. You'll find an appealing selection to suit every taste, each designed as only Hallmark craftsmen can design them. There's a Hallmark Blue Book with sophisticated designs and many novel surprise features. Christmas cards with a Santa Claus so jolly you can almost hear him chuckle. Snow scenes so real you'll find yourself listening for sleigh bells. Christmas trees and holly as fresh-looking as mountain evergreens. There are cards that express the deeper spiritual meaning of Christmas, as truly as a carol sung on Christmas Eve. And there's the Hallmark Gallery Artist Album. 
Open the Hallmark album at any page and what a treasure lies before you. Quaint winter scenes by Grandma Moses, delightful Christmas scenes by Norman Rockwell. Yes, more than 50 foremost artists contribute their genius to the new collection of Hallmark Christmas cards now awaiting your selection. Personal Christmas cards on which you will be proud to have your name imprinted. Remember, these are Hallmark cards. When friends receive them and look on the back, as you do, they'll see the Hallmark and know you cared enough to send the very best. Now here is James Hilton with the second act of The Virginian, starring MacDonald Carey. <laughs> Days passed into weeks as the tiring posse relentlessly kept after the trail of the rustlers, Trampus and Steve. And then the net began to close as darkness was about to fall. Steve was trapped in a cabin. I'm coming in to get you, Steve. I'm waiting for you, Jeff. Throw your gun on the floor. Sure, Jeff. I wished mighty hard that this had never happened. Well, I played a long shot and I lost. No use worrying. But I had you fooled for a while. With a little luck, I'd, I'd beat you and been rich. Remember the haystack at the South Fork? I was close enough to touch you. Why didn't you shoot me when you had your chance? I never could shoot a man in the back. I wished you'd done it. I wouldn't have to be here right now. Bring the skunk out, Jeff! Trampish got away! Steve. I... I reckon there's nothing else you can do, Jeff. It's a fitting end for Trampus. He's just a tin horn, but you... Jeff, could you... Would you kind of go now? I wouldn't want you to be around when the boys take me. Don't worry. I couldn't bear to watch it. Would you get on your horse and leave? I... I wouldn't want to do anything. Weak and silly in front of you. Sure, Steve. So long, Jeff. I wish there was something I... I wish... What's the use? Dear Jeff, this is not the easiest of letters to write, but write you I must. For you see, I'm going back to Vermont. And I doubt if we shall ever meet again. I've enjoyed more than I can describe our little talks and rides we've taken together. These are pleasures I shall remember and cherish all my life. Jim, I want to take a lady on. Well, well, you... Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> How dare you? I kind of hope you'll forgive me, Molly, for riding a double on my horse. Oh, Up you go. No, let me off. <laughs> I say, let me off. There's things I got to say before you leave. You betrayed your best friend. How could you permit them to do what they did to Steve? It wasn't for me to say, Molly. Steve did his own talking. But you didn't go to his aid. There's got to be some kind of law and order here, or else there ain't going to be no West. And that's more important than losing your best friend. I'm sure that Steve asked you for help, and that you denied him. No. No, he didn't. He understood the code of the West. Jeff! Jeff! It'll take care of you, Jeff. I've been trailing you for days. You're not leaving here. Trampers. Molly, get back in the horse. Get out of here. No! You can't stay. He'll get you, too. Are you giving up? Now, where's the sense in both of us? Turn me over and put my gun in my hand. You've got to save your strength. Listen, nobody shall get you, and nobody shall get me. Please, leave me, Molly. Go on. I'm going to help you under the horse. No. As soon as you try it, he'll shoot you no. down. You mustn't. Now. Come on, now. Up. Oh. Up. I told you you're not leaving, Jeff. Get your foot over the saddle. You'll make it easier alone. Gentleman doesn't invite a lady out riding and leave her. Yeah. Well, I'll certainly take you home. The Virginian hiding behind a woman's skirt. <laughs> Shut up 
pretty bad. I don't know whether he'll pull through. Steve. Steve. I didn't want to see you get hurt. I begged you. I begged you. He's still delirious. Why don't you go to bed, Molly? I will stay as long as I need it. Molly. Molly. Where about Ben? Molly, did I tell you to quit me and did you help me onto my horse? Was that a real business? I had been mixed up in my head. That was real. You're pretty wonderful, Molly. I owe you my life. Please don't talk, Jeff. I got so much to say. I'll never forget all you've done and been. Even if this hadn't happened, I had enough to remember. What are you trying to say? Once I thought if I could make you love me, you'd learn me to be less, less, more your kind. And I thought I could give you a pretty good sort of love. I dreamt of you living in my home. But now this is no country for a lady. Will you forget and forgive the bothering I've done? Forgive you? I put it clear how it is. I ought to have seen from the start I wasn't the sort to keep you happy. But, but, will you marry me, Jeff? <laughs> Molly figured in seconds it sounds right long. 72,000 seconds before we get married. <laughs> figured in minutes it boils up into quite a mess. Even figured in hours it kind of comes out too long. Oh, you're not fooling me, Jeff. I know Trampas is waiting outside for you. You're not going out. He sent me the challenge. I got to, Molly. You can leave through the back door. You can take yourself out of his reach. He did the choosing. What difference does that make? I work here. It's my life. Why, folks come to think I was a coward. Who would think you're a coward? Everybody. My friends would be sorry and ashamed, and my enemies would walk around saying they'd always said so. I couldn't hold up my head again among enemies or friends. There is a higher courage than fear of outside opinion. Certainly there is. That's why I'm shown. That's why I'm showing it and going against yours. But if you know that you're brave and I know that you're brave... Oh, my dear, my dear. What difference does the world make... How much higher courage to go your own course? I am going my own course. Can't you see how it must be about a man? It's not for the benefit of friends or enemies. Don't I owe my honesty something? What men say about my nature is not just merely an outside thing. Can't you see how it must be about a man? I can't. If I ought to, I can't. If you go outside now, there can be no tomorrow for you and me. I'm sorry, Molly. Jeff! Please! Don't! Here comes Jeff! Up the cover! I'm coming, Trampas. I'm coming to get you. If you've got anything to say, say it now. Jeff! Jeff! Your lady friend's calling you, Jeff. That's your last shot on earth, Trampas. Hey, pull you, Blanche Pond! Come on now. Don't worry, Jim. I'll get your passenger out of the coach. <laughs> don't hurry on my account, Jeff. Lady in size paying me a dollar an hour to get stuck here in the creek. Huh? Waiting for a man, she said. Um... Why don't you disappear, Jeff? Oh, I see. Oh! What are you doing here? I came to save a lady, ma'am. Well, I'm perfectly able to take care of myself. I don't need your help. I'm leaving for Vermont right now. 
Get going, driver. This is no time for talk, ma'am. You're apt to drown in this creek if you don't hurry. Oh, you think so? Positive. You better jump into my arms. Well, only until we get to shore, you understand. Sure. Sure, ma'am. Molly. Yes? It is a pretty day for a ride, isn't it? Would you care to join me? Oh, Jeff. It's the prettiest kind of a day. And I should love to. Shake, Molly. You're a gentleman. Donald Carey and James Hilton will return in a moment. Come Christmas time in those last crowded hours of shopping, what a satisfaction it can be to know that your Christmas cards were chosen long before with care and with pride because they're Hallmark cards. If you like your name imprinted on the card you send, tomorrow isn't a moment too soon to make your selections from the Hallmark albums. See them. Let them weave their enchantment around you. Light sparkling on the family Christmas tree, the little village church knee-deep in snow. Yes, all the charm and excitement of Christmas as you know it and love it comes to you now in these delightful new Hallmark creations. Look for them in the friendly store that features Hallmark cards. The quality store that serves you the year round assures you of social correctness. Stop tomorrow. Have your name imprinted on Christmas cards with the Hallmark on the back. It tells your friends you cared enough to send the very best. Here again is James Hilton. Thank you, MacDonald Carey, for your fine portrayal of the Virginian. Well, it's a great story, Mr. Hilton. I can't think of one I'd rather appear in for my first visit to Hallmark Playhouse. But not your last, I'm sure. Oh, thanks. And by the way, I understand you're also in line for congratulations for your new daughter, Elizabeth. Right you are. Lisa's is three months old now. Not old enough, I'm afraid, to be a customer for your Hallmark dolls, but uh, my other daughter, Lynn, is... Uh, Three years old now and just right for them. Fine. Then we have a Hallmark album for you. Oh, and by the way, I'd like to tell Frank Goss that my wife and I were especially conscious of Hallmark when we received so many baby congratulation cards from our friends. That's wonderful, Mac, and thank you. Well, thank now, you. Mr. Hilton, will you tell us about next week's show? Next Thursday, we have that charming young star, Anne Blythe, in Let the Hurricane Roar by Rose Wilder Lane, a story of two adventurous people deeply in love who face the perils of the Dakotas during the early days. It's a thrilling and romantic story that everyone in the family will enjoy. Our Hallmark Playhouse is every Thursday. Our director-producer is Bill Gay. Our music is composed and conducted by Lynn Murray. And our script tonight was adapted by Jack Rubin. Until next Thursday, then, this is James Holton saying good night. Look for Hallmark cards that are sold only in stores that have been carefully selected to give you expert and friendly service. Remember Hallmark cards when you carry it out to send the very best. McDonald Carey is currently being seen co-starred with Wanda Hendricks and Claude Rains in the Paramount Pictures' Song of Surrender. This is Frank Goss saying goodnight to you all until next week at this same time when James Hilton returns to present Let the Hurricane Roar, starring Anne Blythe, and the week following Edmund Gwen and Dr. Sarah Cold, and the week after that, Colonel Effingham's raid with Charles Coker on the Hallmark Playhouse. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. This is KMBC, Kansas City, Missouri. Stay tuned for Earl Smith and the News following this announcement.